So let me talk a little bit about energy and I'm referring here on what gives you energy and what steals your energy. So look at this display. Now I try to um, get here pretty much everything that I talked about but there might be some other factors in there that are not displayed in here. Anyway uh, some of the most important things that you have to consider here is what gives you energy and I believe that the major thing that gives you energy here is food depends very much on what kind of food are you going to provide your body um, because see it's about quality the quality of food that you, you ingest um, the lower the quality of food the less energy you'll have the higher the quality of your food the more energy you'll have so this is the major energy provider it's food now if you're thinking about supplements supplements are listed here as energy providers uh, why because even a supplement it's a form of food most of the supplements that you get um, are packed with vitamins and minerals but also they have a property of stimulation energy stimulation or energy triggers so that's why you see this S here is a stimulant liquids liquids are very important too not only because your body needs liquid for running all of the processes inside but also liquids like water uh, they're packed with minerals so you will need minerals in order to um, produce energy so that's another plus here and then you have oxygen oxygen it's a major factor that it's involved in the energy production I'm talking about ATP and we'll discuss this a little bit later in another video um, so it uh, it's a major stimulant as well so this is very important here rest uh, probably you're very familiar when you're having a good night's nice sleep in the morning you're waking up very energized and you're ready to do random things and um, so rest it's one of the, the most important things when it's about um, energy because it functions pretty much like a battery um, the better your rest or the more your rest the more energized you feel in the morning but uh, see the more you rest depends also on the quality of your rest you might have a continuous rest or you might have um, up and downs during the night so that matters as well also I'm talking about environment as a stimulant depends very much in what environment are you living in for example let's say that you're living in the woods and you see greenness every day in that case you're very close to nature and that functions as an energy stimulant uh, well-being well-being now depends uh, I'm referring here more uh, at your attitude about life in general if it's positive that's going to be an energy uh, booster but if it's negative then um, definitely you're going to be on the other side so <clears throat> these are the energy boosters and energy providers um, now let's look a little bit on the on, on what takes your energy now I would divide this in two parts and the first part it's not necessarily a bad thing because they these two here they function also as energy boosters for example you're going to need energy for your daily tasks um, I'm referring here pretty much at walking for example or 
working or uh, walking around the house or um, doing this and that so since you're moving you're consuming energy but you're also stimulating the energy because um, you'll need more oxygen for that and more oxygen uh, as we know it's an energy booster here and it has a major importance so that's why you see here that it's an energy um, uh, requirement for your da daily task but also uh, an energy booster in a way probably doesn't boost a lot but um, it's definitely going to take some energy and also I'm referring here uh, about physical effort depends very much on how much effort you're you're going to um, do if you're an athlete or if you're a bodybuilder or anything like that then definitely that's going to consume a lot of energy especially if you're going to uh, swim a lot every day almost so that takes requires a lot of energy depends what kind of sports are you into uh, or what kind of uh, physical effort you're going to do uh, depending on that uh, depends also very much the amount of energy that you need for that so also this is an energy booster because it works it's very strongly connected with oxygen uh, you're going to run for example then you'll consume oxygen which is an energy booster and of course you'll need energy for your body's inner processes like thinking like enzyme production like protein um, protein production or um, protein breakdown or uh, metabolism animalism and so on so these are some um, inner body processes that they require energy um, <coughs> now I'm getting to the nasty part right here and these are the factors that steal your energy and some of the worst factors are referring to stress stress is a major energy consumer now I divided here stress into environmental stress and emotional stress environmental stress I'm referring here um, let's say about noise let's say that you're living in a big city and it's a lot of noise all the time so that's already a chronic stress on your body because you were designed to be very close to nature you're not in the woods in the woods seeing greenness but you're in a big city with a lot of pollution a lot of noise and that is going to steal your energy uh, also if you're thinking about technology computers cell phone and all of that they are energy uh, suckers so depends very much on what type of energy is is it a chronic is it an acute um, type of stress so uh, if I'm thinking about emotional stress right here then um, I'm thinking about uh, worries or uh, if you're getting angry if you're getting irritable quite often that's going to deplete your energy as well and I'm thinking here about bad food as an another energy factor uh, an, an another factor that steals your energy bad food let's say that the food that you're eating it's junky and you're eating junky food pretty much every day and it's packed with pesticides so um, your body needs to 
deal with those pesticides it needs to put them to break them down if they can if it can and to put them in um, in a place where it needs to be so in order to do that your body requires energy and the more bad food you ingest the more energy your body is going to still uh, need for that so energy crushers we discussed about random liquids like um, energy drinks like coffee like alcohol like uh, other things in here like kava kava tea and so on so all of these are also energy consumers they steal your energy from your energetic reserves and they will give you a boost of energy your stimulants but in a negative way so this is pretty much a display on what i believe that provides you and stimulates your energy and also what um, requires energy but it stimulates it in a way and also what depletes your energy and let's say that if you don't work well on these guys here the energy stimulants and providers if you don't pay attention to them then the energy that your body is going to get it's going to be quite low and if these guys here is going to consume that energy you might remain without uh, much energy and in, in some of those cases what you see is that people that are under con constant stress um, they seem to be um, uh, very you know depleted um, without without any will to live in a, even a i would say stressed all the time and uh, depressed and apathetic and um, and also you can look at their bodies you know their, their bodies they look like legumes uh, they're not you can see that something it's uh, wearing them down so it's very important to make sure that this part here it's um, a quality um, you get the quality that you need in order to have a quality energy 